Hello, Eric the Computer Guy here. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my vintage computer stuff and just my computer stuff in general and that's in my closet. This is my small three drawer uh, storage for my hard drives down here. Small handheld electronics there and then up here I'll show you right now. It's where I keep my Handycam DVD plus R's that are sealed. These are a monoface 30 minute 1.4 gigabyte. I bought these for a different project than using them for a Handycam. I bought them for a GameCube project. I was gonna burn GameCube ISOs and use it, but they will not read the plus R's. It's negative RWs that it takes, not the pluses. So I made a mistake. Over here, I got my cassettes. So this is a Hammer cassette, uh, the Hammer the Funky Headhunter. Let's kind of keep that one right there. And then the sealed cassette I've had for a long time where the seal's kind of getting torn up. I got this one for free. I don't remember where, but I just keep it because it's kind of cool. Now moving on to drawer number two. And here I have my handheld Nintendo stuff, two Cyber Shots, an HP eye pack, and a Jensen, um, what model is this? A Jensen SCR75 cassette player. It's like a little walking over radio. Let's see behind that's my PlayStation Classic. Over here I got two DS lights and then the Game & Watch from that Mario anniversary that's still going on. I don't know if the Cybershot works. I, don't, I remember I bought this one with the other one not that long ago. Actually, one year ago, so it, it was a while ago. This one still works. I've shot videos with this guy before. I'll probably still will every now and then. And right here, I just have the HP iPack. It's a nice little device. I don't know if it works, actually. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you that. I do not have a power adapter for it. Let me get this drawer fixed up, and we'll move on to the next one. Alrighty, moving on to drawer number three. In here, I keep my hard drives, as I've said. Right here are the drives in the back that have to be imaged. This one is from an HP that I have to pull data off of, then I can reformat it. Down here, this one belongs to a Dell Dimension 8400, which I'm going to get the whole hard drive restored. I'm going to take the whole hard drive, clone it into a big image and then put it up on the archive site for you to download because it has the recovery partition and the OS install partition that's completely fresh. Over here is my iMac G5 drive. This drive came out of the G5 fairly recently because I put a bigger drive in there to load three OSs on the G5. And down there is a 500 gig hard drive which has a backup of my 250 gig SSD. I need to get some data off that and make an image of that for my archival purposes. Right here is a drive. I don't know if it works or not. It's a 640 gig WD caviar from my iMac from 2009. Once again, this hard drive here has data on it. I don't know if it works. It's got a nice dent in the lid. And then this drive here is password locked. I'm going to try to get that off of it. And I'll have another drive. But once I get those other drives I'm not going to be using anymore in those computers clean, I'll have two free hard drives for my vintage computer collection and stuff like that. So hopefully I can do that. Let me close this drawer and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at my computers in two stages. The upper computers, which are three, you can see the three of them, two of them partially in the shot. Then I'm going to have to move a thing to crouch down and take a look at the other two. So up here is my Optiplex 760. This runs Windows Vista. The reason why it runs Vista is this is my Windows Vista computer. I feel that's very much a perfect machine to tinker with Vista. I may restore it to Windows XP. It did come with XP via downgrade rights license from Vista Business. So we could do that. Now moving down, we have my Gateway DX series computer, and this is an i5 machine. This is an i5-2300. This is a Core 2 Duo E8400. I want to upgrade it to an E8600, 
just like I'm gonna upgrade this to a nice 7 2600 and then we have my think center over here my think center m92p this is the computer I call Phoenix this one I've nicknamed Optimus Prime and this one's Guardian but right here this is Phoenix Phoenix is my or was my daily driver I may pull Phoenix out of the closet and use Phoenix again as my daily driver. I'm not too sure. But moving down Phoenix, we have an i5-3470 in this one, and it's running Windows 10 Professional. Guardian over here, the gateway, is running Windows 7. So I got 7, no, Vista 7, 10 on these, and then moving down... I have the Windows XP machines. Okay, now we have the Windows XP machines. On this side, it's my Dell Dimension 3000 to my Dell Dimension 8300. These computers are basically my two XP machines. My low end of the era in my medium spec system. This one here has a seller on, forget the model number. It's a Celeron D something. Over here, a Pentium 4 hyper-threaded. It's a 3 gigahertz chip, I believe. They're both equipped with dual drives and floppy disk drive. This one needs a new DVD-ROM drive. I'm probably going to steal this drive out of it. Give it to that one. I've already stolen the floppy drive from this one for this one. This is my main XP machine. I still have to restore this one back to its factory spec. So I'm going to keep it that way, I think. Because it's more cool to have a factory spec machine that's weak and does nothing very well from the Gura. Thank you guys for watching my tour of my computer closet. I hope you guys enjoy it. I plan on making a video taking a tour of my Mac collection pretty soon, so if you want to see that, Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, peace.